Hey everyone, this is Carnage Panda coming back with more of the Wolfenstein New Orders. I broke into the base after I died a lot. I've got to collect all this stuff now. Uh, I'm hoping I can find more armor upgrades and everything because uh, I can't, they just chew through my armor like it's nothing. Did I get armor? No, that was hell. That's more hell. Give me armor. Creating the Perfect Mind, Brussels, October 10th, 1960. As one of the key figures in computational science, Dr. Ernst Brandt was the inventor of the first AI system to be used in one of General Strauss's war machines. The Panzerhund. Now his gaze is fixed on the next challenge, the creation of the smartest non-human intelligence in existence. There are many benefits for society if such an artificial being could be created, said the soft-spoken doctor to us when we met up with him last week in the modern school of computer science in Brussels. Not least because it could help us uh, automatize the process of determining who is a decent citizen and who is not. It's a tantalizing thought indeed, which is why General Strasse has granted, granted increased funding to his research project. Uh, we don't even have AIs now. Like, every time they call them an AI, it's just like fucking wacky bullshit they're talking about. And I believe, uh, from what I've read, we probably won't have anything close to it for like another 100 or 200 years. Uh, we, we're really overestimating our capabilities. Yes, armor, there we go. I needed that. We got 230 health. I think you're in the room that's blacked out on the blueprint. The door is reinforced with blast shields. You'll have to find another way out. How much health can I get? I mean, it's just gonna decay, but... Is that a laser gun? Let's fire it up. Let's go get the laser. All right. They're just like, yeah, I don't need this anymore. Okay. Ah, okay. Don't need it anymore. Wait. Shooting in cutting mode. All right. I see a small plumbing channel behind the north wall. Look for some form of access point to the floor. And there's a charging station over there. So Where where was it? Where was it? Okay. We could just recharge this bad boy. About two floors up is an access point leading directly into the hangar. But where's the counterweight this time? There's a ladder, duh. Hey, more armor. You can't stop me from getting that. Well, I guess they could. But, but, but what's over here? Must know what's in here. If it's an armor upgrade, I, I will I will need that very much. What's this? Gold pocket flask. Just some gold.
Is that film green? That's just gonna make me angry. Pow, pow, pow. Huh? Why you no shoot? Alright, and now I have to uh, cut through this again. What's that last weapon? Oh, I had it in the right mode to begin with. It's out? Oh, there's a charging station over there, okay. Alright. What? Do I really have to be on top of it to, to cut? I guess so. I guess so. Uh, it seems like I'm just going to be using this to cut for now. That's desert engineering. your bottom dollar it is. Let's just be sneaky. Oh wait, isn't there like a, a silencer on the pistol? Um, how do I access it though? Um... I don't, I don't seem to see the silencer anymore. Did they just get rid of it? So I don't, I don't want to alertify these guys. Okay, we got some more armor and stuff in here, so... If I, if I need to, uh, regain my... Oh no, I got spotted. Uh, da, 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 da. <coughs> nah. Oh, these guys are going to drop armor too. Hey, hey, where, where, where am I getting shot at from? Why am I so slow? Does dual wielding actually slow me down? What's this over here? Don't need that. Okay, so Tesla grenade. Got to get up there to get to him. Pretty sure I saw another guy around here. Pretty sure. Ah, here we go. Yeah, I think uh, dual wielding actually slows me down. Where is this asshole? Didn't mean to do that. Where's this other guy? Oh, he's not getting ahead in life. Oh. 
behind me? Where? Where? Oh god, they're all over the place. Don't know what those are, but I maxed out on them. Health. Health is good. I've got to get out of here. Run! Run, BJ! Run! They're badass evils! They're coming for you! Why are those guys not dying? Alright, are we done? Are we done shooting at me? So much for the stealth shit. Wait, what? Oh, okay. That sounds pretty fucking heavy. Are you gonna are, are are you gonna reload? Oh, I cannot get hit by that. Um Ow, that hurt. So, uh, how exactly do I kill this guy? What's this? Full automatic. Where is he? I feel like I gotta neutralize this guy somehow. Do I have any more Tesla? No, I don't. Uh, I would have to find some more. Wait, weren't there some over here? What? No. Um. Actually, I can just ignore him, can't I? Or not. Alright, so... Actually, do those explode? Um, I'm pretty sure I just recharged this. Why did it act like I did it? I don't seem to, to be hurting this guy, actually. Um, oh. Aha! A 
Aha! Tesla grenades, alright. There we go! Finally! Uh, does he give me armor? Nazi's dead. Nazi robots dead. Broke all your shit. Helicopter secure. Sounds like a, a good deal there. Now then, can I actually go up this ladder? Apparently I wasn't allowed to climb in it during the battle. What I find, what I find. Oh, I was supposed to come up over here? Okay. Well, I already went in that stuff up. Well, what about up there? Let's see, the poster about living on the moon. Okay, these uh, Nazis are, are clearly crazy. I have opened the hangar. I have no bullets in that, so... Ain't no reason to use it right now. Come pick me up, Lass Colvich! I don't have all day! She has apparently fallen and can't get up. Or, does her, or do her legs just not work? Okay, where do I take her? I guess this heli chopper. Oh my god, come on. All aboard! How did you survive? I thought you were dead. Don't remember much. Remember punching Hans Gross in the face. Remember ascending into the sky. For a moment there, I thought it was going to heaven. Then falling, then pain. First pain of my life. Felt like my insides were running out through my back. Could barely move. Had to crawl. So they found me after three days in a ditch. Long months in a Kreisauer hospital bed. They were shoving tubes in me. Infection. Oh, these things I don't want to remember. I'm sorry about your legs. Don't be. I've learned how to fly. Okay, we successfully stole their helicopter. Caroline, these things won't fit inside the tunnel! Yes, they will. Trust me. Does nobody notice uh, the three helicopters? What is the dot ye should? How can we get in contact with them? Anya, what do we know? Very little, but I have some ideas. Good. Anya, you take the lead on this. Glaskovich, whatever she needs, you help her find it, yeah?
William, I could use your help. Could you come over here for a second? I found some interesting leads. This parchment describes um, a way to create a type of super concrete. This is what the Nazis have used to build all these concrete monstrosities around here. Yes. Everything, even this place. This is the only concrete they used. This is how they created all those, those cities so quickly. Now that we know where it comes from, I need a sample of it for a closer study. Can you look around here for a piece of exposed concrete that shows an outbreak of mold? It should be porous enough for you to cut me a sample. Whatever you need. Also, Will do. there was this encrypted list of Dat Yishut members in Poland during the war. I need to compare it with the official German state records on Jewish citizens in the years between 1939 and 1945. Can you see if those records are in the archives room? I'll get right on that. And there's uh, one more thing. Um, it's quite critical. What? Okay, maybe the train sex scene did happen. That'll be all. We can go now. I found the items. Okay, maybe I didn't. Bobby's letter, okay. Let's use the workbench again. Make ourselves some armor. I found another armor upgrade, okay. I don't know, that's either four or five of them. Let's, let's eat all the food. Yum, nom, 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 The tide is turning. Okay. You. He doesn't want to talk to me. Soldier man. They keep the door to the archives, you know, like, locked down. Okay, so that is the Wyatt. door to the archives. We've got to find Wyatt. Because... Mold spores coming from the vent. Where is the intake? Okay, I need to remember that then. Door's locked. Oh, it has a mini uh, stove and, and kitchen and everything. This seems like a massive fire hazard. I need the key and I need the mold. What's this? Mold infestation in Berlin. <laughs> London, May 15th, 1953. It's fair to say there's some sort of poetic justice to this. Reports from our resistance friends in Berlin suggest that a new type of mold spore has started infesting structures made out of super concrete used by the regime. It started festering in the massive underground ventilation system and is spreading throughout the city. Friends of the resistance, this could be a major advantage for us. The mold seems to corrode stability of the concrete, making it easier to destroy structures that are important to the regime in Berlin. Mold invasion. Festering in the massive underground ventilation system. Wyatt! Give me armor! I need the keys to the archives. You got them? Yes, I think so. Damn, he got some new clothes. Gosh dang perfect. What do you got there? Dog tanks. Wing Commander Fergus Reed of the Royal Air Force. Took those off of his dead body. Wanted to return him to the RAF, but then there was no RAF. Best damn pilot I ever saw in a hell of a soldier. I'm not cut out for this, you know? Cut out for what? This. Everything. I was 18 years old, and suddenly the war was lost. Everything good in the world died. Somehow I was the one supposed to pick up the pieces and keep the resistance going, take on the whole gosh darn Nazi empire. You think I was ready for that kind of responsibility? My ignorance got so many good people killed. Remember Private Prendergast? You know, that guy, he could survive anything. So tough. Well, I got him killed, sent him out on a mission, and he never came back. We just didn't know any better. Wing Commander Fergus Reed, he wouldn't know what to do. He could have saved so many. I made the wrong choice. You made a stupid choice! Yes, you did! You left the boy in charge of a man's work. I should have died on that day, Captain, on that slab, and Fergus Reed should have lived. I'm not a child anymore, Captain. I know when mistakes were made. There. Leave me alone now, you hear? 
Somebody's bad. Okay, so we got the key. I just need to... Uh, oh, there's a lot more uh, notes on the wall. America loses naval supremacy. The Americans are on their knees, Field Marshal Franz Gustav Byers told the gathered reporters during today's press conference. The superior German submarine fleet, accompanied by its loyal Japanese allies, has helped Germany achieve a major victory in the Pacific, more than half of the American fleet destroyed at the Battle of Lake Gulf alone. Uh, da, 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 da. Editorial, Germany has betrayed us. Rome, October 13, 1949. And so we must face the bitter truth. We, the Italian people, have been fooled into thinking that our northern ally would be our country's salvation and a collaborator in rebuilding Italy to its former glory. Reports from the north are coming in describing German tanks and infantry turning against our soldiers and attacking our own people. Who would have seen that coming? Witnesses describe horrible scenes of whole villages burnt and plundered. We are now just days away from a complete invasion and our weak government is incapable of doing anything about it. I advise all Italians not to surrender. Do not bow down to the will of the invaders. Rise up and take arms. Do whatever you can to fight back the tyranny. Rise for freedom. Okay. The liberation of America has begun. Washington, January 7, 1949. The honorable German peace troops embarked on a nationwide victory tour this week. The goal of this operation is to liberate the oppressed American people and to protect them from dangerous insurgent elements. All remaining American military personnel are advised to stand down and report to the nearest German checkpoint. Once there, they will be issued a label, labor card assigning them to work on rebuilding the country according to the superior culture standards of the new regime. Benevolent liberators guard China's border. Shanghai, October 25th, 1953. Thanks to the ingenuity of German engineers, the Great Wall of China has been reinforced and upgraded by our benevolent German liberators. Hundreds of powerful automatic flak cannons have been installed along the wall, guarding the airspace from any potential invaders from the Mongolian territory. Elite German troops have also been stationed from one end to the other to guard the border. This is a great act of generosity bestowed by our benevolent liberators, symbolically marking the beginning of a new era of peace in Asia. America rises from the ashes. The American spirit rises in the shadow of the mushroom-shaped cloud that was produced by Germany's evil atom bomb when it hit New York. Cells of freedom fighters have assembled across the country and are taking up arms. Through targeted attacks on German VIPs and bombings of crucial military installations, the American resistance is making it very difficult for the invaders to remain in control. Reports claim the German invaders have become so desperate they are shipping elite anti-rebel units from China to prevent the insurrection from spreading. Eyewitnesses, eyewitness accounts also describe max executions of civilians as punishment for attacks performed by the freedom fighters. Uh, did I... Uh, America surrenders. Washington, December 24th, 1948. Speaking to the American people on the falling snow on Christmas Eve, the President of the United States declared the Ger government's total surrender to the German army. The announcement comes just days after the atomic bomb was dropped on New York. The final act of violence may have saved millions of lives that would have resulted from a land invasion of G America, said the German leader in a press statement following the announcement. I applaud the President for taking such a brave decision. After the president's speech, a spectacular show was put on by the invading troops parading the streets of Washington to the roaring sound of German jet fighters passing by overhead. Even more spectacular were the massive mechanical beasts known as Panzerhuden, or armored dogs, hulking over the crowd. It's just incredibly wild that anybody thinks that... that well, not anybody. Uh, degenerate killers captured! Berlin, October 16, 1960. The pair of degenerate serial killers stalking Berlin has finally been captured, said the chief of police at a press conference this morning. The degenerates were quickly diagnosed by a psychiatrist as having several mental deficiencies causing violent and unpredictable behavior. A trial will commence, after which the pair will most likely be hanged for murder. Okay, so... I gotta find this mold... And the documents. I, I'm pretty sure I could get the documents just from... What's this? Mold detergent. They like to keep this area clean. Okay, so now I've got some knives to throw. How do I throw the dice again? Oh, okay. If I, 
if I can hit a bullseye, does it give me anything? Alright. Looks like I hit the bullseye there. Oh, I need more? Let's try this again. Well, that definitely hit. That definitely hit. And that definitely hit. Oh, I could just take them out of there? Okay. Didn't realize that at first. What, what, what's this? Nightmare. Nightmare. I'll come back to that in a moment. I'm in your archives reading it. I've seen some mold over there where they keep the aircraft. Alright, I think I will continue the rest of this in the next episode. But for now, I'm going to end this one here. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe down below. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you all next time.